Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This is going to be a general love reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through in this reading may apply to everyone watching today. So please only take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and what resonates for you and for your situation. And release the rest to the universe. So let's see the messages the universe wants to share. What does the universe want to share with the collective today, please? I was stuck in a rut and you came along and shook things up. Basically, what I'm hearing coming in from your person is when they met you, when the two of you crossed paths, however that happened for both of you, you rocked their world. You knocked their socks off and they did not believe what was happening to them. They could not believe that someone like you would even be interested in them. Perhaps for some of you, this person had given up on love. Perhaps they become jaded to relationships or being able to find that true loving partner that they could have a solid, in-depth, soul connection relationship with. But you have definitely shown them that, yes, this is possible. And they weren't ready for it when it happened. That is part of the issue as well, but that is how the universe works. The universe arranges these meetings according with divine timing. And yes, there's divine timing all around these connections with your person. It's what allowed the meeting for the two of you to happen, no matter how that happened, whether it was online or through an app or the two of you just crossing paths and meeting each other in some way where you both are in the same place at the same time that perhaps neither one of you intended to be there. But because the universe makes things happen and created some obstacles and blockages throughout your day, you both ended up at the exact same place at the exact time. And that is how the universe moves things around so that we can meet these people. Because there is a reason why you are in each other's lives. And at that meeting, you both felt something within yourselves. You felt your hearts pop open. You felt your souls connect. You felt this flame ignite, ignite within you. Something happened for you and something happened for your person. And that was your clue that, yes, things are about to change. My life is about to get really interesting. Something mystical and magical and spiritual and wonderful is happening here in my life. Life? And am I ready for it? That is the question that your person had to ask. And perhaps they were in the beginning and then the reality of all of it just became too overwhelming for them, which has caused them to kind of like shut down, to run, to ghost, to pull away from this connection. You rocked their world just like they rocked yours. And this connection between you and this person is far from over because the universe is continuing to shake them up and get them moving so they can start making their way back towards you. There is a reason why you are in each other's lives and that is why you had to meet at the time the two of you met. Were you both ready for this relationship and for this connection when the two of you had that first encounter, that first meeting? For the majority of you watching this reading, your person probably was not ready for you. And that is what they've been doing this whole time you've been away from each other. They have been getting ready. They have been getting prepared. And that is why I like to call this time where you are, are away from each other as preparing for a union rather than we are in separation because that is just so kind of like Debbie Downer kind of feel, right? We are preparing for a union because that is truly what is happening in this place where you are in this situation with this person at the moment because you have come into this person's life and you have rocked their world and you have clued them into the fact that their life is changing significantly and that things are never going to be stuck in a rut ever again. Certain song lyrics remind me of you. Well, I do feel that this is happening for your person in several ways here. First of all, I feel like the universe is probably bombarding them with some song lyrics or some songs that they're really listening to now with an open heart that are perhaps new songs for them or even old songs that they're hearing that are playing on the radio when they're driving in the car, when they're at the gym, where they're at, the, at work, where they're at the office or whatever it is that your person is doing in their day-to-day -day life. And they do sit and listen to these lyrics. They take 
They're taking them in because they are finding meaning in these lyrics now that they perhaps never did before. And what about you guys out there watching the reading? What are some song lyrics that are really meaningful to you that remind you of your person? Did you ever share them with them? Did you ever share your playlist with your person? Or did you have your own special playlist with each other that the two of you would always listen to because the songs were so meaningful to each of you? This is what your person is doing now. And it is helping them feel this connection much stronger. And that is what music does. Music is the language of the universe. The universe speaks to us through music and through numbers. And they are listening to these songs now with much greater intensity, with much greater sort of like determination, because it is giving them some insight into themselves and where they are in this journey back towards you. And what I'm hearing is, some of the songs, there. some of them are older. I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. I need you in my life. I just called to say I love you. Isn't that a Stevie Wonder song? I don't know if any of these songs resonate with anyone. I will always love you. Can you feel the love tonight? I can't stop loving you. I love you always forever. I have loved you for a thousand years. And that is very true as well, because this kind of connection that you have with this person is way beyond a thousand year love. And that is why when the two of you first met, you rocked each other's world because your souls were recognizing each other from another time and place. You recognized each other when you first met. Words cannot explain how much I love and care about you. Well, I do feel that your person may have had difficulty being able to express with words how they feel about you, but that is something that's going to be different. Perhaps some of these song lyrics are giving your person an inspiration about how they can talk to you about how they feel about you. But what this is saying is they love and care for you. And if this is something that they've had difficulty with, this is something that they're needing to work through during the time that you're away from each other. What your person is saying is you are the most important person in the world to me. And I know I didn't act like it. And I know I didn't treat you that way. But I have learned and I am continuing to learn while we are away from each other that I need to do better with you. And that is going to be my plan as I come back into your life because I desire to show you and tell you every day how much I love you. And I may not have had the words in the past, but I am trying to find those words because I need to tell you the depth of my love. I need you to know how deep my love is for you. I need you to know with great certainty, how I feel about you. And this is something that I failed in the past. And I don't want to fail this moving forward because I am growing and learning during the time that we are away from each other so that when I come back to you, we can build a relationship so that we can stay in this partnership together. I was not ready for you. When you came into my life, you came at me like a bolt of lightning and all of a sudden my entire world exploded because there you were standing in front of me and I knew that you were the one for me. And I'm so sorry that I wasn't ready, but I am doing what I can right now so that I can prepare myself for you and for this union with you. You rocked my world when you came into my life and I'm certainly hoping that I rocked yours as well. You are missed beyond measure and I long to be with you again. Well, this person does miss you and they do long to be with you again. They want to be with you again. They are going to make sure that they have an opportunity to be with you again. Only this time you will see them so much more invested in this relationship. You will see them doing things for you that they've never done for you before. You will see them being very loving and caring and compassionate. You will see them being very generous with their love, their time, their affection, their dedication to you and to this partnership because they are awakening to the fact that 
Without you in their life, they are not feeling whole. They are not feeling complete. And sometimes it takes a minute for people to realize this. And you're all at different parts of this journey. And for all of you watching this reading today, you have been in no contact situation with your person for varying amounts of time. Some people move slower than others. It doesn't mean that something's wrong with them. It just means that they need to grow and evolve more. But they are working through these things that they need to work through so that they can come back because they're longing to be with you again. They want to spend time with you. They want to see you. They want to talk to you. They want to tell you how they care about you. They want to listen to music with you. Perhaps the two of you going somewhere to listen to some live music, or perhaps the two of you just sitting on the sofa at home and enjoying an adult beverage and listening to songs and just being around each other, having a sweet romantic encounter and lovely passionate moments with each other while you listen to these love songs. Songs, just an old-fashioned love song coming something three-part harmony I don't remember all of the words guys obviously but that one came in at the moment um, but your person is working through these things so that they can come back to you they miss you they long for you their desire is for you and you will see this from them as they come back into your life let's see what else we need to know for this reading today please I promise to make you the highest priority and not take you for granted. I do feel your person recognizes that they did perhaps take you for granted in the past because you were always there for them and you're still there for them now. And what they're saying is because you were so loving, caring and giving, I just took you for granted. And I do regret that now. They have so much more regrets than this, let me tell you. They regret not telling you how they feel. They regret not making you more of a priority. They regret all the missed opportunities that I had that they had to spend time with you, to be with you, to go out with you, to take vacations, to take holidays with you, to have weekend getaways with you. All of the things that they pushed away to go and do something else with their friends, with their families, or by themselves. They are having so much regret for all of this now. This is why they are saying, I promise to make you the highest priority. This is about them wanting to show up for you. And it's about them wanting to allow you to see that, yes, they have gone through the changes that they've needed to go through, that they are growing up, that they are becoming more spiritually aware and more emotionally mature as well. They do not want to take you for granted ever again. They have so many regrets attached to that. And you will see them being so much more loving and giving to you in the future than they ever have in the past because they have definitely awakened to the power of this connection and the love that they feel for you because they can't stop loving you. I can't stop loving you. That's another song, guys. It's an oldie, but a goodie, but it's definitely there. Your person can't turn off their feelings for you. Perhaps they've tried. They tried to run from this love. They tried to deny this connection, but they couldn't do it because when you came into their life, you shook things up for them and you awakened them to the fact that there is so much more to life than the mediocre existence that they were living before you came into their life. There is a definite delineation point before you and after you. And they are saying that life is so much happier with you in my life, but I need to make sure that I am not going to hurt you or let you down or create heartache and heartbreak for you ever again, because I have so much regret attached to all of that. And I don't want to hurt you, but I miss you and I long to be with you again. And I am going to start making my way back to you. And that is another song, I think. Maybe it's working my way back to you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What messages does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? What do we need to hear? What do we need to know, please? Well, this is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is a very powerful card because it is a card of spiritual growth. Now, the Eight of Cups is a card of the person who is running 
But it's also the card of the person who is running back because they are going through the spiritual growth that is necessary. The Eight of Cups is about leaving the known for the unknown. It is about leaving the physical for the spiritual in terms of wanting to gain greater spiritual awareness and insight into their life, which is part of this journey with your person. It's how you came along and shook things up. And then the universe just jumped in and continued to work on your person to wake them up and shake them up to the fact that they needed to go through this growth, that they needed to work on themselves. The Eight of Cups is also a card of leaving all the baggage in the past, leaving it, letting it go, no longer dragging it with them through life, whatever that baggage is for your person. It could be fears. It could be insecurities. It could be old emotional wounds. It could be toxic, dysfunctional people or behaviors, or perhaps even a job, but they are working through these issues because the Eight of Cups is all about your person getting their act together and releasing what has been holding them back so that they can come back to you, so they can make their way back to you. The Eight of Cups is also a card of stability because anything divisible by four brings stability and structure to this partnership as your person returns and as they make their way back to you. Let's see what else. Well, this is the fool. That just flew out of my hand, didn't it? The fool is about starting over. Starting over. I just want to start over with you. But it's also about your person getting ready for this next stage of their journey. And the next stage of their journey includes you because the fool is someone who is at a crossroads and getting ready to make a major choice about what they're going to do with this next chapter of their life. And this is about your person coming towards you, especially since it follows that eight of cups. It is about them wanting to continue this journey with you together in union. The fool is about taking a leap of faith in your person, having that faith in themselves and trusting in what they have learned and trusting in the spiritual growth that they've gone through to be able to come back into your life so that you can continue in union together. The fool is not ruled by an astrology sign, but by the planet Uranus. And that is the planet of surprises. And when the fool shows up, it tells us that anything can come at us. Anything can shift. Anything can change in a moment because this is about surprise, expect the unexpected. So your person could literally reach out to you at any moment and start telling you about how they feel about you, about how much they miss you, about how they desire to be with you again, because as well, the fool is about starting over. It is about a fresh start for you and your person, but they are at that edge where they are getting ready to jump in. They're trusting what they feel in their heart. They are listening to these song lyrics as well that are inspiring them to take this giant step forward and take this plunge and come back in your direction. This is about your person getting ready to take a giant step towards you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know? What is happening here, please? Well, the hangman, the hangman is someone who wants to hold on to you and on to this relationship. The hangman is someone who's had a shift in perspective. The hangman is someone who sees very clearly now. They've had a major breakthrough. They've had an epiphany. They get it. They understand and they don't want to let you go. They can't let you go. They don't want to lose you in their life, which is why they are figuring out how they're going to make their approach to you that comes with this fool card. How are they going to take this giant step towards you? What are they going to say? How are they going to do it? Should they just ask you to meet? Should they send you a text? Should they arrange a meeting? Should they just show up at your house? They want to do something that rocks your world, just like they did in the very beginning when the two of you first met each other. The hangman is ruled by Pisces. So if you or your person have your sun, moon, or rising signs in Pisces, you can use this as a place of validation for the reading. You don't have to be a Pisces for this reading to work or resonate with you. These are collective readings and they are for all signs. I just call them out because so many people have asked us to because they like to have some validation at times for the reading. But this hangman is hanging on to you because they are stuck on you. 
They don't want to let you go. They don't want to move forward from this connection. They want to move forward with you. Now, the interesting thing about the hangman as well tells us that things can be stuck between you and your person. And if it's been a long time since you have had any kind of communication or contact from them, yes, things can be stuck. But with that fool being right next to it, that's all about breaking it free and getting it moving again. Because expect the unexpected, guys. Things can change in the blink of an eye because your person longs to be with you again. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know, please? The Eight of Wands. Well, I love the Eight of Wands because it's all about getting things unstuck. And I love that it's on the other side of this hangman, so close to this fool, because that's definitely about getting things moving, getting them unstuck, getting a message from your person as well, because the Eight of Wands is about communication coming from your person. I just called to say, I want to see you. I want to spend time with you. I just called to ask you to forgive me. I called to ask you if we can meet so I can explain myself. This is communication coming from your person. But with this hangman being in the middle of the bottom row of tarot cards here, where things have been in a stalemate, perhaps, where things have been stuck in a rut between the two of you. All of this is going to break free because of the cards we have on either side of it. Sudden and swift change. Let's get things really zooming along here with the Eight of Wands, because the Eight of Wands is about a lot of movement coming from your person. Sudden and swift change to get it moving to the place where you guys can have this opportunity to start again. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know? What does the universe want to share with us? Well, this is the two of wands. This is also about getting things unstuck and getting them moving because it's about your person wanting to bridge the distance between the two of you. Now that could be physical distance if you are in a long distance connection with them, but it could also be about the distance because there has been no communication between the two of you for quite some time, but that is going to change because they're about to zoom into your life here and start stirring everything up. I did want to talk about the cards on the bottom really quick. We have the Hierophant. The King of Swords, the Four of Cups. We also have the Death card, Judgment, the Ace of Pentacles. We'll put those to the side because we'll go over those as well. The Two of Wands tells us your person sees a future with you because they want to talk about their long-term goals and plans with you about this future. But the Two of Wands is also the passion that is here between you and this person. And there is loads of it. And that is part of this connection. And that is part of how you shook them up. You shook things up in their life when you came along. Because they've never felt or experienced anything like this with anyone else before. Not like they feel for you or have experienced with you. And yes, that does include the intimate moments as well, which we can't talk about. But your person wants to close this distance that's between you. This Hierophant is all about wanting a long-term partnership. It is about traditional relationships, the Hierophant is. The Hierophant is ruled by Taurus, so sun, moon, or rising signs in Taurus as a place of validation. The Hierophant can imply that your person wants to get married or get engaged and then get married or move in together or have a domestic partnership, whatever it is, or become exclusive and follow the right path to get to that tradition. Maybe it's about becoming exclusive domestic partnership, getting engaged, getting married, whatever the order is for you guys, you all get to decide that with your person. Ultimately, the Hierophant is about long term. But as well, the Hierophant is a card of faith. And it tells us to continue to have faith in our person and in ourselves and in the power that brought you together to begin with. That same power is at work in your lives and in the world in the lives of your person as well you can feel and experience the universe at work in your life but so can your person and it is happening for them as well the king of swords tells us your person is going to find the right words they have gained so much wisdom they have gained greater understanding they have had a breakthrough as well that supports that hangman the king of swords is an air sign so that is gemini libra 
and Aquarius. The Four of Cups. Your person does not want to miss any more opportunities with you again. And that supports this card. I promise to make you the highest priority and not take you for granted. This is about them not taking you for granted and not wanting to miss any times or opportunities to spend with you. This is about them making you more of a priority in their life. This death card is about the transformation and change that your person has been going through during the time that you have been away from each other. And yes, you have both been going through this rebirth process as a result of being in each other's lives. And we have talked about that in the very beginning. That is why when the two of you met, it felt so intense. You knew that your lives were going to be different. You knew something was happening. Perhaps you didn't know what it was at that time, other than that you felt this deep rush of excitement. You felt this instant attraction. You felt this great click and you felt this love at first sight moment. But that was your soul going, oh, things are about to change in your life, baby. It's time to rock and roll. And your person felt that as well. Death is ruled by the planet Pluto, which is about rebirth and your person being reborn here. But so is this relationship. Death is also ruled by Scorpio. So again, sun, moon, or rising in Scorpio. Your person is learning how to be a better communicator. They are learning at how to better express themselves to you about what is going on in their life, but also how to be able to express their love and their feelings for you. This judgment card is all about rejuvenation of this relationship. Your person judging themselves harshly for how they acted and for how they treated you and you know, again, feeling so much regret and remorse for that. But as well, it tells us that they're using this time away from you wisely. This judgment card very much supports that death card. This judgment is about renewal. It is about restoration of this relationship. It is about your person saying, I am growing up so that I can make my way back to you because I want to restore our relationship. Only I want us to be better partners. I want to be a better partner for you. I'm going to make you more of a priority because I've changed. I'm a better communicator. I have been working on my commitment issues so that I can let go and allow this relationship to flourish and blossom and expand to the place that it really needs to expand to for both of us because I see this future with you. And that Ace of Pentacles is all about starting over. Very much like that Fool card, starting over, beginning again. Only with the Ace of Pentacles being present, the relationship with your person will have so much more stability than it did in the past. There will be structure. There will be compromises. There will be better communication. You guys will resolve arguments or issues or problems through discussion by having conversations like adults and making more compromises with each other because your person has learned how to become a better communicator and that is the energy of that king of swords king of swords is someone who is very wise it is someone who can express themselves your person is not going to struggle to find the words to tell you how much they love and care about you. They will have that all figured out when they come back. And again, perhaps they are listening to song lyrics and that is helping them work it out and figure it out and giving them some ideas and insight as to the words that they can say to express their love for you. But this is definitely about your person saying here, I want to start over. We need to begin again. I have grown. I have changed. I know I needed to grow up. I know I let you down so much in the past and I don't want to let you down again, which is why I want to prioritize our relationship and the time that we spend together. I don't want to let you down again in the ways that I have in the past. I want to show up and be there for you and be the partner that you can depend on, that you can trust. Dragonfly, live life to the fullest. Well, I definitely feel that this is about your person saying their life is fuller when you are together. Your person saying here, I'm ready to live my life to the fullest. And that includes you. 
And this really is a dragon, guys. It's a little dragon with beautiful kind of like dragonfly wings. And dragonflies are about lightness and kind of like things being in a happier, whoops, things being in a happier space for you and your person. Your person wanting to return to this time when things were just so carefree and playful and so much fun and adventurous between the two of you. They want to take it to this place again where the two of you have this opportunity to begin with each other. Dragonflies also symbolize rebirth and change. And this tells us very much supporting this death card and this judgment card about how things between you and your person are going to be different because as they have transformed and evolved during the time that you have been away from each other, this relationship will also be transformed when they return and the two of you start spending time together again. Let's see what else. Epiphany. Seek clarity. Well, there's definitely been some epiphanies happening here with your person. This is a beautiful dancer. She has a beautiful tail feather here, peacock feathers, beautiful wings, a beautiful mask. Seeking clarity. Your person has gained clarity. They have a much greater understanding now of themselves, and that is what's truly needed to happen. And that is the energy of this hangman and that king of swords, seeing the truth, being able to see and understand and address those things within them that cause them to hurt you and hurt this relationship because they don't want to do this again. They don't want to go through this separation again because they want to be with you. This is why they say, I, I think about you all the time. I long for you. I miss you. You are missed beyond measure. And I long to be with you again. Yes, they do long to be with you again. But they also want to be with you for real. They want to be with you full on. They want to be with you with their heart and their soul invested in this relationship. And this is what they have been learning to do while you have been away from each other. If your person has had commitment, fears, or phobias for whatever reason, they are working through those. And there's lots of reasons people can have commitment issues, guys. If they have had several committed relationships and they've all kind of like gone sour, they've gone south and they've just been horrible experiences. And then if they were married and they had to go through the divorce process, it can create a lot of inner turmoil for some folks. And they kind of like, become jaded to the idea of committed relationships. Oh, no, no, I can't allow myself to get committed. But that is kind of like ruining their ultimate happiness because they have this jaded view of or this distorted view of relationships or committed relationships. And these are some of the things that your person is working through here because they want to commit to happiness this card comes with number 34. If anyone resonates with number 34 or three plus four equals seven, which is change with a purpose. And that purpose that is this whole situation is changing for is so the two of you can have a solid partnership, a rock solid union with each other. That is what this commit to happiness is about. But I feel as well, it is also telling us that your person wants to be able to commit to you because this is where their happiness is with you. There's some beautiful stuff going on on this card, guys. There are some deer here. There's a stag here. There's some horses in the distance. There's all kinds of birds. There's waterfalls. There's birds here. And as well, this beautiful dress that looks like it's made out of grass and trees and butterflies. Your person wants to commit to this happiness with you because they are saying that they are happiest and they are most joyful when you are in each other's lives. And that is what your person is revealing here. They want to be able to tell you how they feel about you. And if this is something that they haven't been able to express to you in the past, that is going to be so, so very different because... That King of Swords is all about having the right words and saying the right words and having the courage to follow through with those words as well. Because we have to remember, all kings take 
action. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear, please? Inner knowing. Trust your inner wisdom. It will guide you on the right path. This comes back to that Hierophant card, I really feel. What is your inner wisdom telling you? Guys, you guys watching the reading. What is your inner knowing telling you about the situation with your person? I'm not talking about where you kind of like what if everything and have that fear about it. But truly in your heart and in your soul, what this is saying is find that faith, find that inner knowing and hold on to that. Trust your inner wisdom, trust your gut instinct, trust what you feel in your heart and in your soul because your person is, they are listening to their inner guidance. They are following their inner wisdom. And this judgment card as well is about divine guidance being around this connection and there has been divine guidance around you and this person divine intervention since the time the two of you first met each other it's all been part of the plan it's all part of this mystical magical spiritual connection that you have with each other and now i'm thinking about that magical mystery tour song from the beatles anyway so the point is Trust in what you feel because your person is. They have faith that they're going to make their way back to you. They also have the faith and the hope that you are going to give them this opportunity to start over if they can show to you that they're going to make you a priority and build this relationship with you. Soul connection. Deeply connect with your soul and discover your true self. But I also feel that this is about the soul connection that is here between you and your person. And it is a deep soul connection. And that is why the universe has been so heavily involved in this relationship between you and your person. It's why they move things around to allow the two of you to meet. It's why they're still involved in this situation by giving your person signs and synchronicities, showing them what songs that they should listen to, or just blasting the songs on the radio no matter where your person goes. The people upstairs are at work in your lives. Trust in the divine plan that you can feel within you because this soul connection between you and your person, it is not over. It is not finished. It is never finished actually because you will find each other lifetime after lifetime, including this lifetime again, because your person wants a fresh start with you. They want to hold on to you and they want to hang on to this relationship. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. Clarity and chaos. In chaos, your intuition brings clarity. Trust it. Okay, guys, you know, sometimes when we get in this kind of space where we are separated from the person that we love, we may feel chaotic. And I feel that what this is saying is if you feel that chaos around you, Try to bring yourself down to the space where you can feel what is happening within your heart, that inner knowing, where you can connect to your higher self, where you can talk to your angels, when you can talk to your guides. For some people, they do it through meditation. Through others, they can do it while they're taking a bath. Some people like to do it when they're cooking or going for a drive, but don't close your eyes, of course, or while they are going for a walk in nature or while they are just working out at the gym. People get their insight from their guides and they get in insight and information from the people upstairs in many different ways. It doesn't always have to be about sitting or lying in that meditation and just doing it that way. However, your information comes to you from that higher power. Trust that as gold. That is what the universe is saying right now. So when you are feeling chaotic, when you are feeling like, what if, what if, what if, what if they never call? What if they don't come back? What if go into that quiet space in chaos, your intuition brings clarity. Trust your inner knowing because this soul connection between you and your person is not over and it is not finished. And there is more to the story than where it currently stands. That Hierophant says so much, guys. Wisdom of the heart. 
The heart's wisdom speaks through intuition. Listen clearly. Yes, listen to what your intuition is saying. Listen to the wisdom of your heart. And that comes back to that inner knowing that is deep within you. Your person is following all of this guidance as well because they're angels and guides, the people upstairs and yours are working as a team to try and bring the two of you into union with each other. They're kind of like telling you guys the same thing here in a way to finish working on these things that need to heal. And this is what your person is working on right now. But your person is learning how to trust in the wisdom of their heart. And they are listening to their intuition. They're listening to their inner guidance. They are listening to their soul. They are listening to the divine. And they are listening closely. Because they are being called upon to come back in your direction. Because that same force that brought you together in the very beginning... What does this first card say? I was stuck in a rut, but then you came along and shook things up. Yeah, that same force that brought you together to begin with. That same power is at work in your lives today. And they are urging the two of you to come into union with each other because there's so much more here between the two of you than where it currently stands. There's so much more than what presently meets the eye and your person knows this. And when they show back up, they want to tell you how they feel about you. They want to tell you how much they love you and what you mean to them. And they will be sincere and they will be honest and they will be truthful because that King of Swords energy is all about truth honesty, and integrity. And your person, when they come back, they will be so much more willing and fully invested to make you and this relationship a greater priority because you mean the world to this person and they want to start over with you. This is your reading for today, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love and light to all of you. Have a great day, everyone.